Hi friends, first up, this is RK from 360 Reader. Right now, I'm going to show how you can set any song as your iPhone ringtone without iTunes or PC. Unfortunately, Apple doesn't offer a straightforward way to set any song as iPhone ringtone. However, there is no need to worry about it as there is a hack that can let you set any song as a ringtone. And that too without having to use any third-party apps or even computer. That said, let me show you how it works. Before getting started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any update from 360 Reader. First off, make sure you have downloaded the song that you want to use and then ensure that you have GarageBand app installed on your device. If you don't have, then head over to the App Store and then look for the GarageBand app and install it. As it is offered by Apple, you won't have to spend any bucks to get the app. To get going, open the GarageBand app on your iOS device. Now ensure that the Tracks tab is selected if it's not already. After that, select the desired instrument from a handful of options such as drummer, keyboard, guitar and more. For this guide, I'm going to select drummer. Next, tap on the project icon at the top left corner of the screen. Then select the loop icon at the top right corner of the screen. Now, go to the Files tab located at the top. After that, tap on Browse items from the file app. In the file app, head over to the song that you want to use as your iPhone ringtone and tap on it. The song will be imported into the GarageBand app. Next up, drag and drop the imported track after the instrument which is set at the first track in the audio editing interface. Now it's time to edit the song to your heart's liking and create a ringtone without using iTunes or PC. Up next, select the starting point of your song. To do so, simply touch and hold the track and then drag the handle to select the starting point of your ringtone. And if you want to split the track, all you have to do is simply touch and hold the track to access the hidden editing tools and then choose split after that drag the tiny scissor icon down to cut the song if you want to delete unwanted part of the song simply select the unwanted part of the song and then choose the delete option in the pop-up menu and if you wish to undo changes all you have to do is simply tap on the reverse arrow icon at the top right corner of the screen to undo changes if you want to play your edited ringtone, simply tap on the play button at the top to check whether or not the ringtone is in line with what you are looking for. Once you have perfectly edited the ringtone, tap on the tiny downward icon at the top left corner of the screen and choose the My Songs option. Then touch and hold your project and choose Share. After that, tap on Ringtone to export your project as the iPhone ringtone. It's worth noting that your custom iPhone ringtone must be 30 seconds or less. If it is longer, the GarageBand app will automatically shorten its length at the time of exporting the track as an iPhone ringtone. Then tap on continue to proceed. After that, give a suitable name to your ringtone and hit the export button at the top right corner of the screen. Once you have successfully exported the song as a ringtone on your iPhone, tap on the Use Sound as option that shows up. Finally, choose Standard Ringtone in the menu to set your favorite song as the custom iPhone ringtone. Do know that you also have the option to set it as a standard text tune or assign the ringtone to a preferred contact. However, if you don't want to use the song as the ringtone right now, tap on done to finish later you can navigate to settings app sounds and haptics and then select your ringtone and choose the custom ringtone from the list that's pretty much it so that's the way you can set any song as your iphone ringtone without using itunes or computer now that you know how this hack works make the most of it to set your favorite song as your iphone ringtone if you have found this guide helpful do like and share it and i'll see you in the next video with more such helpful tips and tricks till then have a great time bye bye